The Entrepreneur's Library, episode 149. Welcome to the Entrepreneur's Library, the only book-centric podcast that reviews all the top-selling business books and shares authors' perspective firsthand. This is your resource to finding the next great book that will enable you to grow personally and professionally. Welcome your host, Wade Danielson. Welcome back to the EL. Today, I, I, am, I am unbelievably excited about this interview. We have Ed Normand. And he's the, he's the husband to Sally Hogshead, who wrote How the World Sees You. But he also runs the system. Uh, the book is really the foundation for the system. Um, and, but he's on here today to talk about her book and the system in general. And, and the reason why I'm so passionate about uh, the system, this book, is that I, I heard about the assessment that they had available and, uh, and I've taken a couple different assessments, the entrepreneur, uh, strength finders, entrepreneurial strength finders, these different kinds of tests. And, and, uh, this one w- w- was so different for me because one, I finished it in, in five minutes. And so my immediate thought was how good could this test be? The other ones were 30 minutes. They asked hundreds of questions. They were way more in depth. And, um, and so when I, when I got my results, I read it. And again, it is funny because it's how the world sees you. So I'm reading this and I'm like, I don't, I don't know about this. This seems, uh, this seems a little bit weird to me. So sent it over to my wife and didn't tell her what I thought of the results. And, and I get an email back and, and, and then we talk later on and her saying, this is spot on. This is so you, I can't believe how accurate this was. And so, uh, for those of you, and, and here's the awesome thing, Ed and Sally have made it available to you. So it's fairly easy. You can go on to, uh, let me make sure I get this right, www.howtofascinate.com forward slash you. Absolutely, this will be in the show notes. He'll mention it again. Um, but if you use the code EL podcast, you can go on and take it. It's a quick 28 questions, five minutes. And in that amount of time, you can discover how the world sees you and it's how they see you at your best. So without further ado, let's bring on Ed and, and jump into the interview. Welcome, Ed, and thank you for joining us on the Entrepreneur's Library. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Will you take just a moment to introduce yourself? Tell us just a little bit about you personally. Sure. Uh, my name is Ed Normand, and I am the co-creator, along with my wife, Sally Hogshead, of the Fascination Advantage System. And I am here to talk about a book called how the world sees you discover your highest value through the science of fascination and uh, how that relates to our fascination advantage system. Perfect. So Ed, first off, thank you for sharing that. Now let's jump right into that book that you just brought up, how the world sees you, which was, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong on the date, but which it, it was originally made available for purchase back in like July, 2014. Is that accurate? That's correct. I think it was July 2nd was the launch date. Okay. Okay. Very good. So we're going to move quickly through these questions, but our whole goal is to cover the top questions our listeners uh, slash future reader would have about this book. And so the first one is, what was the inspiration uh, that Sally had behind writing How the World Sees You? Well, so Sally wrote uh, a few other books, but the book previously to How the World Sees You was a book called Fascinate, Your Seven Triggers to Persuasion and Captivation. And uh, in that book, Sally used her decades of advertising and copyright experience to identify the seven triggers that brands use when they're trying to captivate. Those are the seven different methods that brands use to captivate and engage listeners. And Sally's, uh, she's been the most award-winning copywriter in the United States a few times. Uh, she got ads in the Smithsonian. So she has this great knowledge about the ways in which brands really captivate listeners. And that original book uh, developed that system for brands. And then, uh, you know, as Sally and I were living our lives and Sally speaking and we're, um, uh, she started to get a lot of interest from people about, okay, I see how brands captivate, but how do I captivate? How do people captivate? So what we did is we went out and we, Uh, took that same system, that same science of fascination, and distilled it down to the same messages that people convey in the same way that brands convey messages. So if you think about the word fascinate, it's it's based on the Latin word fascinare, which means to bewitch or hold captive. And whether it's a brand or whether it's a person, there's certain hardwired communication 
techniques that brands or people use that uh, will captivate or you know f- uh, freeze people's brains into attention onto that message, and it's just hardwired neurologically into our brains. And so what uh, what we did is we developed an assessment that identifies in people what are the ways, what are the brand messages that you use, uh, and we identified through this how the world sees you. So uh, if you've taken another personality test, most people have taken like a DISC or Myers-Briggs or one of those type assessments. Those are great assessments, but they're completely different because they're based on psychology. In essence, they're a diagnosis of how you see the world. Well, this assessment is different. It's all about how the world sees you. Uh, What are the communication uh, advantages that you use when you're at your best, when you're most captivating, when you're most compelling? What are those advantages you have? And then the book is designed to help you uh, understand how the world sees you at your best. So the idea is the assessment identify how the world sees you, and then the book brings you to how the world can see you at your best. What are those communication advantages that can bring you to your highest value? So you've talked about some differentiators already, but what makes uh, the book different from others regarding the same or, or others that cover the same or similar topic? Well, you know, there's some other books out there that um, uh, will involve assessments, like Strength Finder is probably the one most people have heard of, where you take an assessment that identifies your strengths, and uh, or the Myers Briggs or DISC and books related to those, where they're identifying, you know, what your outlook is in the world or how you picture the world, what your viewpoint is. This is completely different. What this is doing is showing you how the world sees you when you're communicating and then taking it to the next level. How can you become the best communicator you can be, the best leader, the best salesperson, whatever you do, how can you do it best by cap, um, capitalizing on those communication advantages? And, and that, and that's really the difference. It's an aspirational book. So in other words, and it's an aspirational assessment by that, we mean that if you take the assessment, you're not going to get some code. I'm a D4-3 or EF2 or whatever those systems are. What it does is it identifies the top two communication patterns that you have and then applies to you an archetype that identifies uh, who you are based on that communication advantage. So, for instance, uh, you and I happen to share the archetype, the maverick leader. And that means that our primary communication advantage is that we're innovative. And our second is that we use power. So when we use, when we're at our best, we're using those two communication advantages to convey, to relate, to, to build relationships. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. It makes total sense. And how, how would you guys suggest the reader engage with your book? Is this one that you wrote and it really was meant to be read from front to back or or can people jump in and jump out based on the information that they need? Right. So when Sally wrote the book, she did not intend for the book to be a, you know, pick up at the beach and read through in one sitting uh, book. The book is divided into three parts. And the first part describes the science of fascination, what it is to discover your highest distinct value, what it is to discover your communication advantages how to do that and why that's important, why that's important in today's world. Um, And then the second part of the book is uh, if someone's read like Strength Finder and there's the different categorization of the different types of people in that book, well, in in how how the world sees you, section two is the catalog of the different personality archetypes, fascination archetypes, we call them, that each person has. So for each person's fascination archetype in section two, it'll describe, you know, how the world sees that person, um, what other archetypes they're most related to, um, you know, the top um, five adjectives that describe their their advantages, uh, the highest and best value of them, where they're going to thrive most with that personality type. So that part is more like the uh, encyclopedia part. And then the third part describes taking this, uh, how the world sees you and making, turning it into how the world sees you as your best. And that's primarily by uh, using this method that Sally developed called the fascination anthem, which is where people develop their own personal brand, what, what, what she calls the tagline for your personality. Um, and so the, the book is, uh, you know, 
useful in that regard, but it's definitely not for something you just want to sit down and read through at once. It's more of a resource to use, uh, you know, in developing yourself. Okay, perfect. So, Ed, now that we know a little bit of the, the background or the purpose behind the book and, and even what we were talking about, the system itself, now I really want to hand over the mic and allow you the next, you know, five to eight minutes to really take us through. Uh, you're talking to a reader who wants to know, is this their next great book? So we take the ne- next couple minutes and, and share with us what we can expect to get out of it. Absolutely. So the first and best part of the book is that, uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to start with the cover. To take the cover of the book, the cover of the book has the word you and it's it's uh, vertically on the cover in the middle of the o is a mirror and the the reason behind that mirror is is that it symbolizes what the book does the mirror reflects not your view of how you see the world but how the world sees you at your best and so that's on the front cover now you go to the back section of the book and we have a private code where you can take the fascination advantage assessment for free now Great news is for your listeners, we have given you your own code that all of your listeners can use to um, uh, to take the assessment themselves. Uh, the code that we use or we've developed just for your listeners is E L podcast. Letter E as an elephant. Letter L is in library. Then the word podcast. It's one word, and uh, it's not caps, uh, not case sensitive. Um, and so you can take the assessment yourselves. Your listeners can take the assessment themselves. And then when you buy the book, there's a free assessment in the back of the book so you can share that assessment with others. Uh, and what happens is after you take the assessment, you get uh, a full report with videos and a you know, you know, lengthy description of what your primary communication advantage is, what your secondary communication advantage is, what your dormant advantage is. And that, by dormant advantage, that's really your quicksand when you're not at your best, when you're being somebody that you're not. And we sort of teach you techniques to avoid or getting out of that quicksand so you can become more of the best who you are by using your primary and secondary primary communication advantages. And then, of course, we describe how those two communication advantages, when they're combined together, create different personality communication archetypes, what we call uh, the fascination archetypes. And so when you take the assessment, you're going to know how the world sees you at your best, what your primary communication methods are and what your secondary ones are and where you're really stuck, where you want to stay away from. And then the book in section one will take you through the science of fascination and what it means, you know, what are the three threats, for instance, that each of us face in today's world and why it's harder and harder than ever to compete and get your message out there because of these three threats and how you can overcome these three threats only if you understand how to communicate at your best and really captivate people in the first nine seconds. And there's some a section of the book talks about how in today's world, our attention span has shrunk into nine seconds. According to the BBC, it's the same as a goldfish. And uh, if you only have that nine seconds, you've really got to take that and, and, and fascinate. And you can't do that until you understand how the world sees you at your best and until you're able to communicate in a way that really captivates and draws people in. And so then the second part of the book, helps you understand other people's uh, uh, communication archetypes and their communication advantages. And so, for instance, uh, we'll have uh, companies that will provide the assessment to teams and then we'll work out um, in our training, we'll provide, you know, uh, heat maps where everybody can identify the communication advantages of each other. And it really becomes a great team building, motivating thing where people can get better understanding of what, what certain people, why certain people are like they are, why they communicate in certain ways, and why they're uncomfortable communicating in other ways. And it's really all a function of these primary and secondary advantages we all have, how they combine together to form the archetypes, and then what the dormant advantage is, what each person's communication Achilles heel is, so to speak. And so, oh, by the way, if if you use our free code to take the assessment, use the code in the back of the book to give it to your spouse because it's a great way to get some more understanding about your spouse, or at least that's been our experience and that's experience with our customers. Um, so that's the second part of the book. And then the third part of the book is really the best part of the book because that's the transformational part of the book. Uh, this system, the Fascination Advantage system, isn't a static system. It doesn't say, okay, here's your personality type. Now deal with it. It says, okay, 
here's your advantage. Here's your primary communication techniques. Here's your fascination archetype. Here's how you make it better. Here's how to use it to really change your world. Here's how you use it to develop what we call your anthem, which is the tagline for your personality. And that's where we really get into Sally's branding experience and how the, um, how just like a brand, we can captivate with our personality, but we got to understand how we're seen first. And then once we understand how we're seen by others, how we can use that to captivate people. And uh, so, you know, if you, if you take taglines, like say a brand tagline, like BMW had the ultimate driving machine. Well, the, the anthem, your tagline for your personality is like the ultimate driving machine. You know, the ultimate driving machine tells the consumer what they're getting when they're buying a BMW. But it's way more than that. It tells the sales guy at BMW, the mechanic, the guy in the factory line, what they're building. They're not just building a car. They're building the ultimate driving machine. And when you develop this anthem, this tagline for your personality, which is based not just pull that words out of the sky, but based on your natural communication advantages, then like a company's tagline, you not only can captivate people by telling them what they're what they can expect when they – you know, do business with you or communicate with you or, or undertake leadership or projects with you. But it's also telling you each day where you're going to shine. I'm not going to shine in my dormant advantage. I, if, if I'm, if I'm required, expected to, you know, rely on the trust advantage or the alert advantage or some of these other advantages, I'm not going to win based on those. I'm going to win when I'm being innovative and I'm expressing power and leadership. And that's really what the third section of the book does gives you those tools to bring that uh, leadership home. And then, as I referenced earlier, there's a section about team building, how to use the assessment, how to use the understanding of the advantages to build the best team, to, to support the leader with the best um, you know, uh, team around him. And I think that um, uh, you know that pretty much summarizes the book. One other thing I would say is that I encourage any of your viewers that if they haven't already done the assessment, you know, uh, and you're interested in the system, go to www.howtofascinate uh, forward, uh, forward slash Y-O-U, the word you, and uh, enter the code E-L podcast, and there you will be able to uh, you know, get an understanding of how the world sees you, what your primary advantages are, what your secondary advantages, what your dormant you know, sort of disadvantage in communication is and how you can bring that all together to just become the best, uh, you know, communicator, leader, uh, you know, whatever it is that you goal you want to achieve. It all, it's all going to start with an understanding of how the world sees you and then how you can build that based on your natural communication advantages. Mm. So Ed, first off, thank you for offering that uh, to our listener. I, I love the fact that they can, uh, they can engage further from this point. And I can't wait, uh, you know, like I talked about in, in the intro, how powerful uh, this assessment was for me. And so uh, I can't wait to, to, to get listener feedback on, on what it meant. And I love how you brought up the wife portion too, because that's immediately, as soon as I took it, I had to, uh, uh, one, have my wife read the results to see if that's how she saw me. And, uh, and then two, I, I wanted to, to, to have her take the assessment as well. So, so. But, well, uh, so wait, wait, but tell us how did your how did it pan out? Did the uh, did your wife see you like the fascination advantage assessment saw you? Saw me exactly, uh, <laughs> exactly. I talked about this a little bit in the intro, but but I at first did not think that the assessment was proper. And and again, I had to remind myself: this is how the world sees you. This is how you see yourself. And so I wanted to test it out. Okay, great. I'll have my wife look at my results. And then I won't tell her what I think about it. I won't tell her if I think it's accurate or, or not. I'll just say, hey, will you take a look at this and, and, and see what you think? And the email I got, uh, you know, this is spot on. This is so you, da, da, you know. And so I was, I was shocked. I guess I was almost trying to prove that it was wrong. <laughs> and, and that didn't exactly work. <laughs> well, that's great. You know, and that's one of the things that we often hear is, you know, these other assessments will take 15 minutes or 30 minutes and it's mm -hmm. a you know long plotting process. And yep. before we ever released this, Sally and I tested this in over a hundred thousand people and we had more questions. We had 160 question versions that we would test and compare the results with. And the, the, the 28 questions that we have now are 
every bit is accurate, you know, longer or bigger just doesn't necessarily make better. No. And, uh, no part of the whole beauty of the system is that if you want to get people to use it, if you want to get your team to use it, engage in it, if you want to get your spouse or, you know, people that you care about to engage in it, if it's too long and laborious, it's just, it's a factor that's going to inhibit that process. Absolutely. I I bet there's someone who will take this assessment and think the same thing I did. Wow. That was too short. There's no way this can do a very good assessment because I've taken all those other tests and they took me 30 minutes. Um, and so how could this have done a thorough job? And again, that was me, you know, testing it. I get the results. I'm like, I don't know about this. Send it to send it to the wife, send it to other people and then, and, and then get their feedback. And, and again, obviously how the world sees you, their feedback matters more than, (laughs) than my feedback. So. Uh, yeah. No, it was it was absolutely uh, phenomenal, and, and it got me. The, the thing that I love most in life is when something gets me to think, and something creates a, a paradigm or a lifestyle shift based on that. So I, I fight information a lot, but I think one of the, one of the qualities about me is I, I I slowly I'm fighting it, I'm fighting it, fighting it, and then I, I I'm starting to find information to validate what it was talking about, and and it was extremely powerful and made me learn a ton about myself from that from that assessment. So, and, and we just went through a ton of information, a uh, ton of information from the book and, and the, the, the system itself, uh, how the book is the foundation. Now I'm going to ask you something that's, I feel like it's a fairly difficult question, but that's if the reader can only take away one concept, principle or action item out of the entire book, what would you, and, and this goes for the system as well. What would you and Sally want that to be? The takeaway is in today's world, unless you live on a desert Island, it doesn't matter how you see the world. What you've got to first understand is how the world sees you. And then once you understand that, and once you understand how the world sees you at your best, then you can build your your communication, whether it's in-person communication, whether it's online, whether it's personal or business. The foundation has to be around how you can captivate and motivate somebody in that first nine seconds and build on that is only when you are – uh, using your natural communication advantages that uh, that others see in you, and and I, I pulled a quote out of what you just said, but I, I th- that leads into our next question, which is: Do you have a favorite quote from the book? Something that maybe you guys that 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 Sally wrote that you guys really love, or something that's really resonated with the audience so far? I would say that my favorite quote and uh, is um, different is better than better. And let me explain what that quote means. Uh, in today's world, in, in part one of the book, when I referenced where we t- talks about the three threats uh, that we all face in today's world, um, one of those major threats that we all face is commoditization. And that is the, the phenomenon that's going in today's world is that skills are just becoming more and more prevalent. The fact that you have a college degree, the fact that you have a law degree – doesn't mean you know you're even going to get a job because there are such a higher raised bar for skills. So in today's world, it's just not enough to have skills. What you have to have to get business, to get people to come to you and um, and use your services, is you have to show how your skills are different. What it is about your personality that is different. Because if you can add on, you can you know adding on more skills is sometimes just like decreasing the price you know at some point you don't want to compete on price and you don't want to compete just on basic skills or you know even the foundational skills what you want to compete on is what you bring to the table within your profession within your skill set that is different that's an intangible you know uh, quality about you that can lead to higher performance that's different from just delivery of the commoditized service that frankly, most of us provide in today's world. Oh, that's huge. Thank you for sharing that quote and then taking the, the time to explain it. And the, the last question that I have for you today, Ed, is, you know, if there's only one book you could recommend to our listeners, again, you're talking to book lovers, maybe some book addicts that are, are listening right now, but uh, based on the way that the book impacted your life, uh, created a paradigm or a lifestyle shift, what book would you recommend? Well, there is a... Um, there's a lot of time management books out there and I always get stuck with, um, you know, reading them and and starting to do a system and then not being able to pick up on it. But there's a new book out there by a friend of mine called Rory Vaden. Mm -hmm. And this book is called procrastinate on purpose. And, uh, Rory's developed this, um, 
time management system that is sort of, you know, if, if, um, if the past time management system was sort of like the seven habits type system, he's taken it to the third level and he's described ways in which you can actually create more time in your life. Um, so it's not just about, you know, using the time you have, but actually how do you create more time? And that's, um, it's, it's been really motivation to me and it's actually a time management system that I actually use. So Ed, we actually had Rory on, oh geez, less than a week ago. Oh, that's um, great. That's and great. I, I, I'm, 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 what have I read? Maybe 60, 70, 80 pages. That book has absolutely moved into, I've read hundreds of books. That book has moved definitely into my top 10 and probably into my, I haven't finished it yet. So I'll determine afterwards into the top five books that I have ever read because time to me is more important than just, than just, you know, the wealth, the wealth side of things or the, or the, the financial wealth. And, um, even his, his phrase in there, and I'm, I'm going to butcher it. So I'm, I'm kind of mad that I'm, I'm even attempting it, but he talks about that. Yes. He, he talks about multi systems and processes can multiply time the same way that, uh, um, I'm trying to think what he said. Compounding does your money. Yeah. And like an exponential factor to time. Yes. And he, yeah. he, he said that and I was like, Whoa, you know, it was, uh, it was phenomenal. That's, I'm glad you mentioned that book. It's brand new. It's, it's, uh, f- and phenomenal guy. I think that was one of the, one of my favorite interviews of all time too. Not just because the book was so fascinating, but because he was, uh, he's just a real, a real cool guy. So uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for referencing that. What a, what a yeah, perfect and, recommendation. And Jesse, your readers know, I didn't know you just interviewed him. So we no, talked about that before. No, we didn't talk no about idea. it. And actually, yeah. it hasn't even aired yet. So you couldn't okay. have known. Uh, uh, at, I mean, at, as of when people are listening to this right now, it will have aired. Yeah. I think it's right. another two, three, four days before that episode actually goes live. So no, I, unless I had told you, you wouldn't even know. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so Ed, before we depart, can you recommend the best way for our listeners to get more information on you, uh, the book, and the system? Yes. So, um, to learn about the book, you can go to how to how the world sees you.com. And there we've got, um, you, you know, you can access the book through Amazon, the different retailers, but we actually have some cool bonuses, uh, for buyers that go through the website, how the world sees you.com, you know, just some sort of extra bonuses to help you, you know, get more value out of the book. Um, and our system is found at how to fascinate.com. And there you can take the fascination advantage assessment. Um, we've got some resources to help you develop your own anthem, your personality brand, uh, you know, so that you can build this tagline for your personality. And um, hopefully, you know, our goal is that uh, eventually everybody is going to be communicating at their best and their highest value using the science of fascination. Well, Ed, thank you so much for coming on today and sharing uh, all about the book and the system with us. I think it's truly going to be, you know, again, one of those paradigm shifting, one of those impactful uh, books and systems that they can tap into. Great. Thanks. There's one other thing that your viewers might find interesting. Back when the book was released, this is my favorite stat. It was IBM's book of the month and Oprah's book of the month. They're on, on their book of the month selections. So when you got IBM and Oprah picking on you, there's got to be something cool about it, right? Yeah. I don't think there's a bigger <laughs> list. I mean, as an author, I, I don't think there's a bigger list than, than Oprah. Yeah. I mean, being on, being on that list would be, I, I think, I, I mean, you know, New York times bestseller, there's some different lists, but, but, but Oprah's book list, I, I would definitely, uh, I'd be fine if I was just on that list and didn't make any of the other ones as an author. So that, that is phenomenal success. And it's, Again, it's only been out uh, half a year at this point, so it'll, it'll be interesting to see how it resonates more uh, in the future, G- gains momentum. Sure, thanks. And Sally's um, last book, Fascinate Your Seven Triggers, Persuasion, Captivation, Harper Collins is releasing a new edition of it this year mm-hmm. where it takes the branding science of fascination and takes that branding science down to the entrepreneur level or the smaller business level. So and is uh, that almost on how, how the world sees your brand? I mean, is that, is that a little bit of what it goes into or? 
Yeah, so so when we developed this fascination advantage system, which identifies your personality advantages, that all came about because of Sally's previous book, Fascinate Your Seven Triggers to Persuasion and Captivation, which was about how brands use these seven different triggers to captivate and hold consumers' attention. And uh, it was based upon that system and taking that system and applying it to people that uh, how the world sees you came about. And so now the the next edition of Fascinate, instead of taking it to the bigger brands where in that book it'll talk about, you know, things like big brands like say maybe a Jägermeister or, you know, other big brands on that level will use it. Now it'll bring it down to a small business person, entrepreneur, and how they can identify what their brand is all about and how they can fascinate with their brand. Perfect. Well, again, Ed, thank you so much for coming on and, and, and sharing everything with us here today. Appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for having me. Have a great night. Thanks again for listening in today. Uh, there's so much information in this interview. If you want more information on Ed or you want more information on, on Sally Hogshead or you want uh, information on how the world sees you or uh, the, the system that they've provided, you can check out the elpodcast.com check out the show notes and we'll put links to all of that. We also put information on, uh, and again, I, I know I've been talking about this assessment, but it, it, it was a, uh, it was a life shifter or, or a, it had a huge impact on me on, and knowing how the world, uh, sees me. And so, uh, again, you can go to www.howtofascinate.com forward slash you use the, the code E L podcast. And again, 28, 28 questions later, five minutes later, you'll, you'll know how the world sees you. Again, thank you for listening in. I hope this was a, was, it was a life-changing episode for you. Looking for your next book idea? Head over to the elpodcast.com, where Wade shares his amazing resource, the top 10 business books recommended by over 500 entrepreneurs with you for free. That's the elpodcast.com. Till the next time, keep it on the EL.